Hey, what's up Sports to the Bone family? A blessed morning to you all. Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are doing okay. Alright, so coming up in this video, we have a couple of things to talk about. We see where West Indies uh, head coach Phil Simmons, he spoke to the media recently and he was talking about a couple of players, Shandopar Hemraj, uh, Niall Smith and um, Kimo Paul spoke about their fitness and the level of work that they need to get done. We also see where Kimar Roach is back playing some county cricket and we're going to finish off the video talking about uh jamaica tallowers so just stick with us to the end remember to hit that subscribe button if you have not yet subscribed turn on the post notification bell and drop a comment so as we know the players listed above right these guys usually uh struggle with their fitness and you know coach will simmons in the interview indicated that the fitness um concern for these guys you know it is still there but it's a work in progress and they are coming on. You know, he went on to say that the camp is really focused on skill, right? Skill training and not necessarily fitness. So, you know, the, the current players that are in the, in the camp, they are zooming in on certain skills that we would have spoken about. The art of running between the wicket, the art of batting, spin, you know, talk, talking about sweeping, um, reverse sweeping, puddle sweeping, all of them sort of things. You know, that, those are the things that they are, they are working on and bowling and things like that. So, you know, um, Coach Phil Simmons is quoted as saying, and I quote, I think they still have work and they still have to work on that. But when they go back to Guyana, that is definitely what they will be expected to do because this camp is so well not solely is mostly to focus on the skill aspect of their game uh he went on to say and i quote nile smith has the ability the pace and the talent you know to, to get to the next level you just need to continue to work hard and keep the fitness level up so as we say my viewers and subscribers these three players we know them to be very talented. Shandapai Hemraj would have shown, Niall Smith would have shown, and Kimo Paul, definitely one of the most talented youngsters going around in the Caribbean these days. So we definitely want to see them um, making the cut where fitness is concerned. So as Coach Phil Simmons is saying, you know, they just need to work on the skills that they are working on now when they go back to Guyana. You know, um, they just need to make sure that they keep themselves in shape continue to work and get up to the level where they need to be now as we know you know the camp the, the camp that is currently ongoing it will run up until april the 13th i think they started in may and you know it is basically helping the players to get themselves in the zone or get them prepared for the 2022 schedule you know we have the netherlands coming up i think in may we have pakistan coming up in december we have a lot of cricket to be played my viewers not only white ball but also red ball cricket so a lot of these guys they are definitely going to be trying to see if they can get into the squad so that is basically one of the way ways for them to to, to try and see if they can um keep up now the white ball players that are currently playing in the ipl you would expect that they are working on different aspects of their games now so this camp is basically to keep the guys active and you know continue improving now just to remind you the players that are in the camp we have Nkuma Bonner, we have Dwayne Bravo, Shamar Brooks, we have Casey Carty, we have Rustin Chase, Justin Greaves, Shandapai Hemraj, we have Shea Hope, we have Brandon King, we have Atley, we have Paul, that's Kimo Paul, we have Anderson Phillip, Raymond Rifa, uh, Smith, and that's Niall Smith, we have Devon Thomas and Naeem Young. So those are the players that are currently at the camp and you know we would have spoken on this platform before about some players that we think should have been named there we won't go back over the list again because we don't want to stir up any controversy but you know, it would have been really nice to see a couple of other players that we think you know um will be breaking through in the west in this team in that camp but it is what it is the camp is ongoing and we're hoping that the players will definitely um you know stand out so that is what coach phil simmons is saying the, the players, the Shandopar, Hermaj, Kimo, Paul, the Niall Smith, these guys, they seem to be, they seem, seem as if they have a lot of interest in them, but they just need to continue putting in the work, make sure that even when the camp is over and they're back at Guyana, not necessarily under the supervision of the top um, West Indies coaches, you know, they, 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 they just continue putting in the work, keep themselves in good shape. 
that's a lot that, that that will definitely take a lot of um personal commitment but it is their career they are not getting any younger they're getting older so you know they need to know exactly what they need to get done so that is it as it relates to um coach phil simmons now kimar roach my viewers and subscribers um you know he's back playing for sorry in the new english county championship and you know i think this will be his second stint there with them uh you know he's expected to do extremely well we know when when you mix kimar roach's bowling skills with those sort of conditions over there he will definitely be expected to do some work but he will only be available up until may 8 i think because of his busy scheduling for west indies you know we we have both um tests and odi and we see that they are training in the odis you know he's very effective in test cricket so apparently desmond ains and the other others are trying to see if they can get him back um into some um odi form so yeah we can look out for kimara roach my viewers and subscribers to see you know what what he will bring um to the sorry team all right so just to talk a little bit about the jamaica talawas as we know the cpl is up on us well it's not here as yet but we see teams announcing players that they would have retained players that they are um that that would have moved on and thing like that and you know the ceo of the jamaica teller was he spoke and spoke about andre russell you now he's quoted as saying russell made a statement last year that it was his last year playing for the franchise so it's not a big surprise that he did not um sign back with us he went on to say and i quote he called and said the exact reason as to why you know he, he is moving on and remember all of that remember all of the problem uh, moving from 2020 going into 2021 as it relates to you know um the whole mix up taking the captain getting gail out of the franchise giving the captaincy to um ravman powell and you know russell it, it was a big big mix up you understand we had sar one in the mix of it a pure pure problems um went on there and you know Russell Russell didn't didn't come out and, and really cause any is any problem on the media like like we saw some people did. But he came out and he you know he just basically said that right now we think it's going to be his last year playing for the Jamaica Talawas and as a result he has moved on. You now the CEO spoke about Fabian Allen, saying that you know he brings a lot of he's, he's a dynamic player, brings a lot of skill to the to the to the team as it relates to his power hitting, his bowling and his feeling so yeah that is basically where the jamaica talawa is at my viewers and subscribers still looking to sort out certain things no when i would when i would have looked at um the St. Kitts and nevis patriots trinidad and tobago and a couple of other players that signed for some of the other teams i i am not too happy i am not too happy with what is happening with the jamaica talawas at all my viewers you know um some of these other teams they seem really strong and settled and we are all over the place you know what is i don't know what is happening with our cricket when it comes on to the franchise cricket we're having the problem first class cricket we're having the problem list a everything where jamaica is concerned and our cricket there is an issue i always tell people you know when it comes on to west indies cricket i don't curse and complain when west when jamaican players don't make the team once they're not doing anything and they don't make it i don't care if they are performing well and i think they should make it i will voice my concern but when it comes on to regional cricket now you understand Jamaica going up against Barbados, Trinidad, Guyana, and, and Leewards or Winwards and things like that. You know, I, I will definitely speak out because I want Jamaica to come out and top in those sort of competitions. Even though I know that, you know, the, the, the players, they are going to select the best out of all of these teams to, to represent the West Indies. I still want Jamaica to win when it comes down to that. But as it relates to West Indies cricket, if if i know it's west indies cricket and a man might say well it should be well represented right across the region if across the region players are not good enough to make the team then they don't make the team if it is 11 guyanese 11 trinidadian 11 jamaican 11 barbadian 11 um, grenadians whatever it is make the team once it is the best 11 they are representing the caribbean just the same i couldn't care less you understand so that is why sometimes when i put out video and i see some people um arguing about you know this man should make the team and because you know he's not from jamaica i don't want to talk about i don't even follow them sort of foolishness but as i said you know the franchise we definitely want to see the tallowers coming back up 
But yeah, that is basically it. You, you know that later on, I'm going to talk a little bit about the IPL that is currently um, going on, the game that is being played now. We also um, have have some other information I want to talk about where we saw where they were talking about Ravman Powell saying they're going to see a different side of Powell this um, season. So we, we'll talk about it later on and see go. We're going to leave this one right here for now. Sports in the bone. <laughs> Big up on yourself, my wonderful peeps. I'm out.